This morning we're spending a few minutes with our old faithful Wimbo boys, junior and third in A, Wimbo High School first team, UCD, Western Province under 20, South Africa's Sevens, Blue Bulls, Dylan Sage. Thank you for giving up your time to allow me to interview you. Thanks, it's nice to be here. Your grandfather played for South Africa. Was there any pressure on you to play like that? Yeah, I think there's pressure for rugby. But uh, not to make any bad news to for a rugby, for a big rugby family. So, yeah, I think it's uh, just comes to the territory. Right? What did that have to do today? It's a fun game to play, I and mean, it's got a lot going for it. Um, I think rugby is very traditional as the African says, so you grow up watching rugby, you grow up playing rugby, so it kind of just all comes together quite nicely. You, you share a bonus with the board at Swango Boys Island. Can you remember your figures and your GPs? I actually can't remember. Um, I was asked this question a little bit earlier, and I actually can't remember. I think a couple to me not to the end rugby is the end of the but um, yeah, I'm actually not sure, but I knew I had a, a long career in the beginning school. What does your highest rank in school? I think it was a hundred and two. I think it may be more, maybe a little bit less. I think it was against, if I say Queens, it's at, I think it was in 2010, 2009, two. You visited many countries of Spain for South Africa. Which country do you enjoy visiting most and why? I think Hong Kong. I think Hong Kong is very special sevens wise. It's got a very well it's the oldest tournament in the seventh circuit. So the crowd's always very nice. It's a very good vibe for the week. But I've got a couple I like Sydney. Um, what else can I say? Canada's really good as well. So we've been lucky I've been around to a few different spots to be quite nice. During your time on the seventh circuit, which team do you find the most Inside the national sport, so they always give us a good, uh, good battle. Can you give us an example of a typical training day with a blizzard? So we'll probably wake up around 6 30, uh, we'll have breakfast, we'll have our activation session at about 7 or 7, we'll have a meeting, we'll go from the meeting to the training session, probably about an hour and a half, come back, have a top up meal, uh, do some more activation, maybe go into the gym. Have lunch, go back into the meeting, and probably finish off with another training session, maybe one more unit session. So it's probably about 7 to 4, 7 to 5. So it's a long day, a lot of fitness. As a nation, we want the Springboks to beat the British fans. How do you see them going about this? I'm actually not too sure yet. I haven't seen much of the Blue Tire Giants play. I watched them all didn't play last night, but it's going to be tough for the boys. I think we're on a good side, and I know a job to coach me. A young player who wants to make a career out of rugby, what advice do you give him? What advice do I give a young player? I think when you're young, to you keep on enjoying the sport you play, so then it becomes easier to get better at it. I think when you try and score something too much, you start losing the love for it. So I think when you're young, don't take it too seriously, embrace the sport for what it is. Try and do your basics well. I think the generic term work hard is obviously always going to be there, it's true. Just be young, just enjoy the sport for what it is and try and get better at it because you enjoy it, not because you have to get better at it. Dylan, thank you for spending this time with me. On behalf of all our brothers and sisters, we wish all you all the best.